welcome back all of you nanak here and then we are into the next uh, and then the final session of the day that is a uh, stock import so let me go there and join and i'll share the screen i am now into etu etu is fast now so you can now see on this place the etu along with the password is given so i have now logged in with the prc12 actually and prc12 i have logged in <clears throat> let me go to uh, I'll now go to the product management and then go to the product information management and then have a look at the existing item. I'm going to do a stock import for it. Too. Then go to the browser items and then have a look at it. I would have made some G10 or something like that. I don't have a look at it. It's there or not. <clears throat> So I create cons item, everything I will create in JTN actually. Many, many items are created. So JTN underscore laptop is there. I know how I look at it. I don't know how I look at it. It's a normal item. JTN laptop. JTN. Uh, it is on JTN Hatch actually. Okay, somebody has created it. So let me assign it to my child org 00. If you go to the, the associations, we'll see where exactly it is. Okay, JTN Hatch is there. So let me assign it to 001. Uh, I don't know what to do. I'll go to the I'll go to the So the 001, I'm going to assign it. JTN underscore laptop, L is capital center. I'm in a PRC 12 only, no? but it's not coming. Okay, okay, every org, no, 001 has to come, right? It doesn't any says there are security access, no? PRC 12 dot student is only a generic org. One and three, zero, zero. Nothing is coming here. Strange. Hmm. You cancel. We are unable to assign it to the All of them are with JTN PNR. That may be their own structure, I think, because of which it's not going to In the structure, it is not there actually. <clears throat> so they created their own structure and they are doing it actually. Yeah, there are so many items on 0, 0, 0, 0. So J05 laptop is that one. This is the in a 0, 0, 5, right? a small laptop. J05 laptop, if you go to the associations, so that was in this structure and so that way I'm not even assigning that. So it's assigned to 0, 0, 001. Let me have a look at the stock. Right? J05 underscore laptop is the item. So let me have a look at the stock. J05 laptop is there. <laughs> and then we'll now go there, go to the supply chain execution and then I have a look at it. Yes. Supply chain execution. Supply chain execution. And then I go to the what's called uh, the supply chain execution and then I will now go to um, yeah, okay, inventory management. Then we'll have a look at it. Managing quantities. Let's do it. G and underscore laptop. I'm in which order? So all I have to change the orders. We have to C two is not having any. Ah, okay, no, sorry. Organization is zero zero one. Even the data access is not there, so change org is also not coming. Oh God! <laughs> it doesn't have anything about it. I will not give a turn, and then I come out of it. I will not go to the uh, SCM. My PRC will not have any data access actually because that needs a customization. 
So when you are working on vision, you must understand about how to work also. <laughs> that is another thing, another challenge. So SEMs will be all be ours actually. SEM 14, I am now logging in. Let me log in SEM 14. So this will be able to see. This. So this you can do. There you cannot be able to see. I have no go to supply chain execution and I go to the inventory management. <clears throat> you can log via SEM of any numbers. And that will give you the stock. You know what the item count is and then change the arc to 001. Change arc to 001. That's possible. So you know, like, so we change it and then go to the manage item quantities. And then here I can look at the laptop, right? The J05 laptop. Keep on searching. So there is no stock at all. And there's no stock. So I'm going to import it. I'm going to import the stock. Is a stock import. This topic is stock import. So it's okay. So SCM 14 and dot store and I'm using it. We are not going to import it. So let us go there and then let us import the file actually. So it's called docs dot oracle dot com. We're going to import it. Docs dot oracle. So click on the cloud application on the left hand side. And then ours is, I, I don't know what the, uh, what's called this thing now. So go to the click on it. I know mean, in the ETU, my ETU will not see what the version of it. That only you had to download. So it's 21C. So let me download the 21C of uh, stock import for this one. I will not download the 21C. Go to space. And then here, I will not go to the supply chain management and then go to the inventory management again in the docs now. And then change it to 21C is already there. Click on the all books on the left hand side. You have to change it appropriately. And then after this, click on the all books on the left hand side. All books has been done. I will not go to the what? Go down, go down, go down. In the implementation, what happens? The file based data input in the HTML, I'm not going to use it. And then in inventory management, I'm going to click on. Previously, we have clicked on the product lifecycle management. Now, in the inventory management, so we are not having so many imports are available here. You have got to say transaction. The remaining are all live access. As and when you keep on doing it, what happens? You have to try it. Inventory transactions. It has got a four sheets. I click on it. Let me save it. It's already done. So it already got it. So I will not what I was uh, showing folder and then I will not take a copy of it. I'm going to keep it in our space. So I'll keep it in our space. The main, <coughs> the main, I will not go to the, what's called your uh, uh, PWC training. And then I will go to the import and then I will not paste it in here. So inventory transaction import template as well. So in the meantime, what happens? I have done uh, something for the previous uh, batch now. By, I will not take up that import also. Additional docs and reports. So I will not query for the stock. Now, right? this is a stock import. So what is the stock import? I will not what I will say, take a copy of it. I will not paste it also. Padding, because uh, I forgot on the next one. I will not go to the PWC ring. I will not go to the import. Now. I will not keep it also. <laughs> So, if you open up this template, fine, how it might upload. We have to provide, when you perform a miscellaneous receipt, we are giving that account of 10, 100, and 1000, isn't it? Fine, that account has to be given. And that account has to be given. So, the same thing will also be applicable over here. When you perform a create miscellaneous transaction, we are giving account. So, that account also has to be put on the Excel sheet, actually. Close it. So, if you open up the sheet, We'll open up my 40 stock import. Let me open up my already filled template actually. The filled template. I've done it. It is actually my student who has done it actually. Yet, you see, you'll have to give the account number in segmental form. In segmental form. In the segmental form, we are giving it to one second. <laughs> Yeah, here onwards. So there is a DL column on which the segmental numbers are speaking. DL, D, DST column, DST segment column is there. So on which we are given the segment number. So I will now go on and see whether it's also having a DL column in there. For the inventory, we are now downloaded it's the 21C, we are downloaded now. 
click on enability so on the dl column a b c d e f g h on the dl column that we have a b c d dl column in the dl column c c d dl column dl KEL, DLS, exactly. So the DST segments are coming actually, exactly. So I will now compare it and then I will now keep on making it. Happen. So this is the one which I'm going to compare. It. So first the organization name now. So you go there, you will now go to the home, and then I will now give the Seattle Manufacturing is already there. Right? So organization is name is okay. It is already filled up. Afterwards, what happens? You go there. The process flag is one of the item number. So here item number is what? Uh, J05, J05. Uh, J05 underscore laptop. That's after the item number. So revision, what happens? I'm not entering anything at all. So I will not enter any revision at all. So inventory lot sale is not required. And then uh, sub inventory code is FGI. So it is not store one. Okay, fine. Uh, it is an existing sub inventory only. It is a visions one. So vision will be having a, a sub inventory of FGI. Fine, it's okay. So vision sub inventory is okay. Yeah. So I was uh, kept it. Uh, that is a uh, client's locations one. Uh, clients location sub inventory. You go for that, go for that, go for that, go for that. And then afterwards, I'm not going to say quantity. Next is quantity field. So quantity is two, and then each is also capital is small a is okay. That is there in this place. Now two each there. Go to this place. Uh, there he has given a pieces. It's okay. There they go. So transaction date. When get transaction date. We are now purposely putting it as a uh, older one, right? 2012. So we are in 2221. So we are now going to face a problem on the what's called date actually. So it is on uh, 2012 and we are in 2021. So we are going to have face a problem. I will not correct the problem. <clears throat> it's okay. Go there. So next is what miscellaneous result. Miscellaneous result is that kind of thing. I'll go there and see this. Miscellaneous result. And afterwards, what happens? Source code is SR. I don't know what exactly it is not source code. We will also keep it as SR. <laughs> be a standard result. The primary quantity is not required. So only on BO column, only on the BO column, we have entered it. BO column is SR. And then there is a hidden information. This nobody knows actually. Right? Uh, I was asked by my student to also keep it as such. Right? And all the lines they are keeping there. Header and header line ID. So whatever is now coming up over there, header and line ID, leave it, just make an R&D and then how to derive this, I don't know. But it works. Whatever comes with a standard template is working actually. Go further, go further. Go further. And then transaction mode is three. Transaction mode is three now. Setting up the transaction mode three, right? there's model three, and then afterwards lock flag. Lock flag is nothing. I right? remove the lock flag. Transaction reference. So I will now say stock as of so and so. So he is now hearing some reference now. Fine. <clears throat> stock as of. Uh, I will now say September second. So that will be uh, printed as a travel right? on second. Whatever is the stock, we are importing it actually. Stock as of September 2021. Currency is a currency name. Uh, and I don't think currency name is required. It will be coming automatically. Currency name is not required. So currency name, we can leave it as such. They are now using it a uh, different one. It is a uh, U, U, UAE one now. Fine. <coughs> Dhiram, actually. So we can leave the DB column. We can leave it. DB column is okay. Currency name is not required. We can leave it as such. Now. Go further, 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 further. So here, the DST segments are coming. So here the DST segments are coming. We will now see what DST segment you have to pop. And there is that one. We will now go there and then see look at it. We will now make a miscellaneous result on this now. And then we will now try to populate whatever one of the numbers we go to the create miscellaneous transaction. So we are not going to do it now. Fine. In the account column, what I am going to do is I will now pick up one of the accounts and then do it now. So it's a miscellaneous result. Miscellaneous result. And then in the account column, I go there, click on it, I'm not drop it out. I will not search for it. Search any account I'm going to put. So choose any account. I go there. So this account I'm going to populate. One not one ten. I go there. So click on OK, man. So it will be coming. One not one ten. I go there. So one not one. 
and then give it a tap 10 and then give it a tap and then 5210 if you make a mistake please tell me na please tell me 5210 52120 the one go there and then it is a 000000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 000 so this account it has accepted so whatever account it has accepted i'm choosing it so 10.10.10 and then 5120 5120 and then 0000, 000. yeah this is okay these accounts are given now given the accounts what it do is go further so there is one more problem. The transaction cost identifier is coming. Field now. Fine. HR field. HR field is a transaction cost identifier. Go for that. Oh, what is it? Yeah, yeah. Expected arrival date, not necessary. Because you are not inputting it. So that will be required. Yeah. GH. Of the form is almost very big. Uh, what does the column mean? Hachar. Let me see if G. Cost identifier is one now, right? The reward is written now. So we'll now see cost. Cost is not costed actually. I don't know what is going to do now. Uh, use current cost is no. So what I'm going to do is I will now remove this one. I will now say use current cost as yes. Current cost is not a cost reduction. Cost is a big topic again, very tough topic. So use current cost is what as a yes. No. I will now make it as yes. Remember, you should not make it blank. Right? It should be either yes or no only. Use current cost is yes. And so there is no costing activity will be done. That's it. And then after you see, nothing is there. You have got more columns also. It's not in there. So I will now give a say first of all. Okay, or okay, and I'm saving it now, giving a caution. Okay, fine, go there. So the first sheet is now saved, and then afterwards, you go to the next sheet. The lot, I'm not going to have any lot at all. No lot is there, no serial numbers. Lot and serial numbers are lab access. I have no select both the lines, I will not delete it. Lot and serial numbers are lab access. You can download and then afterwards, you go there. I will not have any cost company. costing also. I'm going to delete. Not really, really. So, cost, lot, and serial numbers are lab access. You can populate and then do it. Fine. So, my person has done it now. Right? If you go there, he has done it. Click on go to the go home. Okay. No, he's not done it. So, he has done serial numbers. He has not done it. And the cost he has given from so many items. They, the real time example, actually. So, how they are doing it in the real time. So many records will be there. You have to upload everything. So, they have done so many things. So, this is a real system. Fine. They have done it. You can now see. It will be uh, tens of thousands of records, remember, not only one or two. So that much of a record, you have to populate in the real time. We are now just doing a Jujubi activity. Right? So doing only one or two. And I will now go to the inventory transactions, inventory transactions in base. The second line also will be deleted. I will not delete. Only one line is there. So J05 underscore that. I will now wait, uh, now make a check on the item again. So, this ready is reserved. Let me know that we comply. You will now see whether J05 laptop is coming there or not. In this case, J05. J05. Okay. Law and then your tap. Laptop is coming. It is on 001 or. I think it's coming. J05 laptop is there. In 001 or. So, I have now put the Seattle manufacturing as the 001 or. Seattle Manufacturing is okay. <clears throat> Seattle Manufacturing. Uh, Seattle Manufacturing or Seattle, I'm not sure about this R. It's not coming as a Seattle Manufacturing. What is the R name? How to see it? Now go there, go to the place and then have a look at the R name. If I go to set up amendments, Seattle or Seattle Manufacturing, I would like to see it. Go to the place. And then go to search. <clears throat> go to manage. Now put 001 and then see what is the name of the organization. Right. Organization code is 001 and then enter it. You now see the organization name. Seattle manufacturing. It is only Seattle and not manufacturing. You can remove the name of that manufacturing. Not required. 
Remember, we are given a name of what 2012 as a date now. Right? Now we are going to have a cutoff date also. So there is a profile for this now. Right? It's called managed percentage, self percentage profile. Managed self service profile. Self service procurement profile options. Managed self service profile option. Go there. So here, uh, the aging period will be there. Find display category, search results, request prediction, proxy server name, proxy assign, request to buyer point. You are retained lost assignment. Nothing is there on this point. Self service profiles, nothing is there actually. There is one profile where which will be having it. Assign right? requested, same buyer, proxy server. All of them are lesser important, but you are requested data officer. Yeah, this is a different one. This is a different one which you want to see now. Right? This is a different one. We will not try to go on the name. <coughs> so there is another profile. Manage receiving profile. Manage receiving profile. Manage receiving profile options. Receiving profile. Manage receiving profile options. Go there. You can see this. Manage. Click on search. Search for it. So expand it and then see it. So here I'm going to say uh, receiving transaction processing mode, mass due date, transfer orders, inventory replenishment. Prefer a rate for it, an aging period for excellent result settlement. Right. We want an aging period for excellent result settlement of the department. Building pass due orders, transfer orders included, inventory replacement. Right. So receiving profile is also not having it. Some other profile. Inventory replenishment life confirmed. So receiving transaction processing mode, that is a different one. Online going to giving past new orders for confirmed receipts, transfer orders, inventory replacement is for confirmed orders, prefix, and then rate override aging period. And this much is only there on the receiving profile. So some other profile will be having it. Right? Self service receiving unit, right? just self self service receiving, right? self receiving percentage. Right? Man, self service receiving profile. There's no such profile at all. In self managed self service procurement, self service procurement, self service procurement options. One, the one we are seeing, no? managed self service procurement options is a pure retained loss assigned by it, assigned requisition same by it, and it option is a different one. Such results will be on display category name, but they are not there. And there is some, I will now see. We now see the manage receiving options. Receiving options we are seeing now. Uh, manage procurement options. Where it will be there actually. And it's also this procurement profile options. Also. There is a place where we can set up this profile actually. So based upon which, what happens? It will now say that it will now show an error actually. Okay, it is not set to some days, but now we are in a higher round. I don't know the profile name, but it is now set to some seven days or ten days or something like that. And if it is beyond the ten days, it will not throw an error. So it's okay. It will throw the error, and then I, later on, I will not find out and tell me where exactly the profile is. And there is a profile option. So that profile option will now control this days, number of days before before receipt action. So it's a self service procurement receipt or it's not the one. We have a purchasing profile, receiving profile. What exactly it is? And there are some other profile options. <clears throat> No, I will know manage manage profile. No, maybe a standard profile or what? Standard profile. Manage standard text profile. No, no, no. You know, see on the profile, manage profile. How many profiles are there? So click on that manage profiles. Forgot of that. You know the files will be there actually. All the profiles, all the cost profiles. Now the inbound profile, item profile options. Storage, organization security profile. So many profiles are there. 
manage profile options. The generic one you will not see in the manage generic profile options. Click on search now, it's not for all the files you will see manage profile options. The generic one will go down and search. It will not so okay. Maybe so many profiles are there. Okay. So many profiles. No, no, it won't be this many guys there. This is not the area where I have to go and check for it. Hmm. I have forgotten. I will now tell you tomorrow morning. Fine. I will now make a check and then I will tell you correct that it is. It's <clears throat> purchasing profile. Uh the receiving profile. Not striking it. Present. Let's go there and then we'll know unknown transaction. Right? Everything is now ready. We will now, uh, it will now throw an error active ultimately. Well, this is not having anything, this is not having anything, and this is not also having anything. And I use this. I'll now go to the plus space, then we'll create a generated CSV file. Click on generate CSV file and go to generate. So I'll now go to my first of all, my area, go there, click on it. And then I will now open up your uh, PWC training <clears throat> and then classroom records, not the classroom records. And then uh, here we have to go to what? Import direct. So I will now say uh, T01 stock import. Stock import. Stock import. Stock import. It is zip like this and close it. Without saving, you close it. Don't say. When you're closing it, please don't say because it has now created additional ones, no? additional uh, sheets it has created. So it should never come at all. So when you have to save it, say don't save. Remember, when you have to do a don't save. And all that. This also I will not close. It. This also I will not close. It. Next question. Now we will not go there straight away, and then we will not do this. We will not go to tools, <clears throat> and then you will not go to this place. You can log in via SCM board. Okay, from there the SCM board is the tools now, and then I will not go to the what's called your scheduled process. Come on, where is it? Ah, it is missing here also. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go to the tools schedule process. Tools. And then you go to the schedule the process. So click on schedule process. So click on schedule. I will now give the load interface file by import. Right. Load interface on your load interface file by port. So click on OK now. We will now bring the both together actually. And drop down and then choose the search and then bring in the what's called your, 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 your what's called UCM area, universal content management. So that area we're going to bring in in one go. From there, we will now load the file to the UCM area, then bring it to the interface tables also in one go. So we're going to search for this. So here it is called create inventory transactions. The UCM area is what create inventory transactions. So we're going to go on that. Load it in the place. So when you drop down, you can click on search now. Click on search. I will now say uh, again. We click on search now. You got it. So remember, even if you put small INB, it will not work at all. INB, and then click on search. It will not work. Baker search. They call this as a very good search. Why it is case sensitive and all the time? In case you first see and then first I must be capital transaction. And then uh, bring it to the UCM area and then go there. Drop down data file and then you know load it. Upload a new file directly. No need to go via that. And then I will now go to this place, PWC, and then I will now go to the import now. I will now say stock import the one point. Okay, okay. So laptop two qualities we are bringing in. So click on submit. So we'll now come to the UCM as well as interface tables in one go. Load 
load interface file went there is no past. It has got uh, three sheets, one is the load interface, one is the serial interface, one is the cost interface. And all those things will be running one after the other. Lot interface, serial interface, and then cost interface. So load interface is not running. So the transfer file may be for the first one and the first sheet. Now let us now perform an import into the base tables. Fine. The load interface file for import has now got completed. It will be succeeded. Wait for it to succeed now. So it will still complete. It is now succeeded. Now let us run the new import now. Right? So here the the the, the, the bringing into the base tables you have to run manage interface. Right? Manage inventory interface. Manage inventory transactions. Manage inventory transactions is the uh, concurrent name for bringing into the base tables. And then the UCM name is what? Create inventory transactions. Manage inventory. Manage inventory. Different search. Manage inventory transactions are one, which is called all oh dot. Okay, I think it will create. I'm not sure about it. Create. The create inventory transaction. This is going to spawn the manage inventory transactions. This will be spawning the manage inventory. This will be spawning the manage inventory. So create inventory transactions. I'm going to make it up. Okay. You're going to bring it now. So go there. Transaction header ID can leave it blank. It doesn't matter. It's a man, it's a mandatory field. Come on, you are not supposed to. Oh God. Transaction header ID. So that is why this is not the concurrent actually. Create inventory transaction is not a concurrent. So something on the manage inventory transactions. Or import inventory or what? No, no, no. It is M A N A G manage inventory only. See how many I can remember. Manage inventory transactions. This is what I remember. It is called manage inventory transactions. It will not ask any anything at all. No parameters it will ask for actually. Manage inventory transactions. You're saying it. Manage. Ah, it is there. It didn't came at all. Isn't it? Come on. I gave manage space, INV space, and then give it up. It's not working at all. So this will not ask any parameters actually, and then it will automatically spawn. What happens is that the child process of create inventory transactions. When click on something, this will be spawning the child actually. Create some. So manage inventory transactions will be spawning the child now. It will go into past mode, and then the create inventory transactions will be getting spawned. The spawning is what it is going to spawn a child actually. Manage inventory transactions is not running, so it is going to spawn no past. So it has not started doing the create inventory transactions. Now it will end in a, end in a warning. It will not end in a warning because it has got stuck because of the date now. So we don't allow too much of a date, and so because of the dates, it is now stuck actually. No computer. No computer. Now it's running, and then this will be getting warning. My manage inventory transaction will be completed in warning. Oh God! It is not getting warning. Completed. Completed. Come on, succeeded. Come on. No succeeded. Okay. Now we'll now go on and have a look at the stock. So it's all done now. Right click on the duplicate. Now we'll go on and have a look at the stock. Whether the stock has come or not. We go to the supply chain integration and go to the inventory management. And then now go on and look at the stock from here. So go there. Go to the manage item quantities. And then I will not have a look at the stock. So it's zero zero one. And then it's a J zero five underscore laptop. So click on search now. So it will not come. So it will not come at all. It is, it is not getting set. No stock is there. So if you go to the pending transaction, you can see that it will be available. You go there, click on it. So it will be getting stuck on the pending now. You go to the manage pending transactions on the inventory. So click on it. So go to the manage pending transactions. It will not show here in this place. See, there is one, one thing which has got stuck at some. I will now click on the uh, hyperlink on the miscellaneous receipt, which is there as a pending transaction because the date problem. You know, there is a profile option which controls it, but I have forgotten that. I will now show you tomorrow what exactly the profile option is controls it. If you open this, it now says error during processing. And processing thread is what error during process. And then error explanation, fine. Click on it. So it says what the value provided for the attribute sub inventory code is invalid. Oh God, FGA is invalid. <laughs> FGA was there. But we had a problem. We will not try to correct it. We will not. The sub-inventory code MGA, I thought that it is correct actually. 
let alone write a correct it. Let alone go to the place, click on it. The value for the supplementary code is invalid. Because it's a vision's data. Now, fine, I thought that MGA must be there actually. So, manage percentage, sub percentage, look up percentage, and then enter now. I don't know how to do that. And then for 001 org, we'll not see that sub inventory course. I mean, 001 org. Oh, there is no EFGA at all. Okay, let me change it to the stores now. Fine. I will not correct the stores. So go to this place and then let us know correct this one. We are going to correct it. So the value provided for the sub inventory is invalid, is very correct. We don't have a code called FGA actually. Fine. There is no sub -inventory. So the value provided is the attribute code. So let us now click on the transaction ID. Select it and then click on edit now. Circle click on it. We are going to in the printing transaction, we are going to make a change. Go there. So go down, go down. Then the stock has on September 21. Let us also come now. So where is the FG? You know, stores is what SR. Everything is there. Where is the FG? Okay. Here I will not drop down and then make it as a stores. Make it as a stores. So click on it. I will now give a what's called save now. Save is not all. You go to the actions and then add to process schedule. I will now add to process schedule. It will be getting the transaction was added to the process schedule. So it will now come into the interface table. It will now come into the interface table. Let us now run again the manage interface table. Save and close and then come out of it. It has been added to the interface table. Now it will now vanish from this place. View pending is now vanished. So let us now again trigger the, uh, just, you know, go to the monitor process. I will again trigger what? Uh, the manage inter inventory transaction. And then it is not having any parameter. I will now resubmit it actually. Okay. So it has been added to the interface tables basically. So click on resubmit and then it will be pulled again back into the base tables. We're about to run the manage inventory. Do you want to continue to run it? It doesn't have any parameters actually. And this will again create a create inventory transaction. And this time again, it has to get struck because of date actually. Previously, it has, it has got struck because of uh, your sub inventory is wrongly mentioned now because of the date. 2012 is not acceptable actually. 2012 is not acceptable. So there are some uh, previous dates on which we can import it actually. There is a profile option which controls it now. I will, I will verify and then I'll tell you tomorrow. So go there, completed. It has to end in a warning. But here it is all coming as succeeded only. Maybe it will land up again on the what's called your pending transaction. So wait till it gets completed. Oh, connection to the server is lost. Oh, server connection is lost. So server is not getting updated now. So now go there, click on done, and then come out of it. We'll have to again see the pending transaction. It has been. See, again, one more, come, one, one more has come out. I'll again go out and come out of it. So it will be ending in the, go to the manage pending transactions. This time it will be a different error actually. So click on the hyperlink on the pending transaction. Now initially it was an Now error. You will not see what is it. So the value provided for the UIM code attribute is invalid. <laughs> UIM is invalid. Come on, I thought that each EA is okay now. So click on it. So you know. Uh, what happens? Go there. We'll now go into the edit mode now. Find actions. Uh, it is not in edit mode. Transaction ID is coming. So, or other. I have. I am viewing it. Actually. Select on the edit. I go to edit it. So, click on it. So, the UAM code is invalid. Go to quantity. So, quantity uh, transaction quantity E two and then is now coming as each. We'll not drop it down and then I want to see the number. So, click on search and then see the UAM quantity. That's why it is not even populated there. You click on search. Now see what the UM code is. Ah, it is. See, the UM code, somebody has made it as what? Is it, is it you? These are all people, big car low there. Why they have, see, always I used to say, UM name and code, keep it same. But somebody has said, is it, is it you? People experiment too much on this. That is the reason that what happens there? It is not coming from now. That is the, is it, is it you? That way it is not coming. What to do when we do one or something, what happens? Something is that give a save and then we'll now again add it to the one and add to process schedule. So, my main error is what in this place it has to come now. Where is the date? Expected arrival date is okay. There is an we have we have no transaction date we are given up and somewhere the transaction date will be there. That will be giving a problem. So, is it ready? What oh, the transaction date is, is not there. They must have modified it in this place. The transaction date is also not there. 
transaction is there. This has to give a problem for me. That is what my expectation is. But apart from that, so many errors are coming now. We will not go to add to process schedule. I can give a same now. Add to process schedule. I am not browsing it. So click on OK now. Fine. No added to process. Schedule. Save and close. So click on done now. And then if you go there, and then you will know what happens. Click on done and then come out of it now. <clears throat> And if you go again to the manage pending schedules, manage pending transactions, nothing is there. It has been added to the interface tables now. Let us now again put it to the base table. So I will now keep a on the manager interface. Click on what? Resubmit it. Click on it. We will now resubmit it. So we are now using it. This will again spawn the child now. This time the date error has to come. Some, some errors are coming. Submit material is wrong. Now UAM has been corrected. So create inventory transactions is no running. So manage inventory transactions will be spawning the create inventory transaction. And then this time I must get the proper error actually. Some seven or eight days before only you can uh, import it actually. If, if the transaction it is before, it has to give a no, no. You know, done. go to the place. Then click on done now. And again, we'll come back inside. Click on it. We'll go to the management in transactions this time. <coughs> it has to do one final one. This time, my error has come. Come on, go further, go further. Right. You cannot create what? You cannot create the transaction because the transaction date is before so and so. On the cheap, use manage inventory profile options. Oh God, the option is what? This is the one. So it is not clearing the same. Fine. It is a manage inventory profile option. You have to use manage inventory profile option. Set up task to update profile name. Oh God, I made a mistake. Now I got it. So manage inventory profile option. Thank you for it. it is available there. So manage inventory profile. So manage percentage. ENV percentage. Profile percentage entering. So in this place, you are having this. Manage inventory profile, you are having it. So click on search. So we have this profile. That's showing the profile option also. So you have so what? Uh, Intercompany inventory expense transfer, close movement request, default inventory organization, inventory transaction, uh, batch size. Come on here. Miscellaneous issue and visit to processing mode, suffix in the payment common. It will be there in the bottom. Go down. So inventory manager work side up. Why is that here? Visit of issue. Can anybody find out the profile name? What is it saying now? What is the profile name also it's saying? Use manage inventory profile options, set up tasks to update profile value. The transaction data. Then we want to say it's not showing you the exact profile name. Now go there and check. Maximum number of days, intercompany, inventory transactions, manager worker size, transaction processing mode, transaction date, uh, validation enabled, submit transaction processing data, result of issue of serial number is restricted, min max planning, material status control, and no further. Inter organization, closed movements of an expense, inventory management, mobile pages, default inventory or inventory transactions, batch size, automatically pick suffix by inventory. Miscellaneous issue and result. Processing mode, it's okay. Online processing. Oh. Inventory transaction processing mode. Inter organization processing mode. Ah, I have to now read slowly now. Use back ordering. Inventory transaction batch size. So that is a different one. So default inventory organization. Inventory management mobile ex expense to asset. Close movement request when you enter the money. Conversion rate type. So, see not to be Inter organization transaction processing mode. Material status to enforced. Min max uh, reinforced. Okay, for receive ship lock quantity. Result of issued. Result of issued serial numbers restricted. Submit transaction processing mode. Okay, that is okay. Transaction date validation enabled. So, what exactly is that? So, date validation is a different one actually. There are two levels, site and user. Site is common for it. User is user spending. Transaction processing mode, inventory transaction manager, worker size, intercompany. So maximum number of days per items. Uh, there, there's one. So maximum number of days prior to current date in which the maximum number, the transaction creation date, validation profile. So it says five days. So today is what? Today is second now. That means what? Up to 28th or 27th only we can do it. That is what the message is saying. So what will now say? You can't transact the transaction because the date is before 
28 months. You can see the date is now what? It is now clearly saying in the place. Uh, when I go down, it is not visible. You see. So because of the five days, it is now saying before 28, 8, 21, you cannot transact at all. Got it? Anybody can say yes to it now? Have you seen it? 28, 8. It's because it is five days now. Can somebody say yes to it now? Can you open up your mic? All of you are sleeping or what? Nobody is responding to you. Got it now? Fine. This place. 288. Got it. And this is a profile option. So if you set it up, you can run it's only a number of days basically. So maximum number of days prior to current date in which the transaction is not. So because of which is not giving a problem. This problem I'm expecting. I got two other problems. I will not select and then click on edit now. So no edit. Go there, click on edit. And then change the date now. So transaction date is in the top. No, click on it. I will not edit it. So I will not what? I will not make it as what? Today is what? September. And the year is what? Up, up. You now go there. 21. And then I will choose the first of September. That's it. So if you choose it now, there will not be any problem at all. So the transaction date is not compared to the one. So click on save. <clears throat> and then action is what? Go there. Click on action and then it will not add to the processing schedule. Is added to the processing schedule. It has now gone to the interface table. Click on save and close now by this. This will now vanish now. Click on will now again have a look at the stock now. Find the on it. So if you click on done and it will be coming out, there will be nothing at all. It has already been added to the interface. If you go to this place, you go to the what? Manage pending transactions. Nothing will be there in the pending. Now we will now have a look at the stock before we run the import again. Go to the manage item quantities. In another five minutes, you will be freed now. You are going to end it now. So item is J05. Let's go laptop. Click on search. So there is no quantity at all. Let us now import it and then show it. Now there are two quantities will be coming. Go there. I will now re re resubmit it. So click on it. Click on resubmit. So we had two, three problems. Now fine. Fortunately, we had three problems, so we are able to rectify one another. So, manage inventory transactions is now running. So, both of them will be getting completed. And then, if you go there and then see the stock, the stock will be there as such. Running. So you go to the manage item quantity and then if you give a search now find the laptop, you search the two quantities will be coming. The two quantities are still it has got we got it. This completes the stock import. <laughs> if you have understood the stock import, find that. <laughs> can you put a green tick now? When if you have understood the stock import, can you put a green tick now? <laughs> it is relatively easy. <clears throat> the only thing is what you have to one minute. I will not put that, that uh, file also to you now. <clears throat> so I will not put the stock import 40 stock import template. Remember that you have to bring in now. And where from I bought it now? I brought that 40 stock import to this place. 40 stock import is there in this place. Now. So I will not, uh, will not, not upload. I will not um, go to this place, PwC training, and then 40 is a stock import. You see. Yeah, on your additional docs for 40, you put that into your import file and then uh, do it. That's stock import apply. So there is a customer's one, that is my student's one who has imported it for one of the implementations. So it has got a lot of things. So you can compare it basically. Basically compare it and then do it. Okay, if you can go for one more session, you can put a green tick mark. If it is going to be only tomorrow, put an X mark. We will not see the majority and then do it. Now. One majority has come, four, two has come. Oh God, three. You know, nearing majority. Oh God, four. <laughs> Bob Ray. Supreme Kumar has now got a neutral now. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will not call it a. So you people now start to what I must say, do this now. So we'll now meet at 9:30 a.m. and then we'll now begin procurement. Actually, fine. inventory is complete. 
uh, there is on some more topics a uh, small small topics which i'll be covering during the procurement phase so we are going to begin the next grand topic of procurement tomorrow morning this is the last topic of inventory thank you sir yeah thank you any doubts from we you, need some time <laughs> <laughs> will do today and will stay awake okay <laughs> so okay. i will now leave and then you know you can start to practice right? you can even call me when you have a doubt otherwise you put a message in the whatsapp we will now have a look at it and you know, try to solve it okay okay bye for now bye sir bye sir bye 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 sir yeah bye thank you sir bye 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 mm -hmm. okay.